In the previous tutorial, we linked schedule tasks to model elements to produce a 4D simulation for all the construction activities. To do this, we had to define sets of objects corresponding with the schedule tasks. And here we see those in the Set Management window. We can play the simulation of the entire construction process now. While we only added construction tasks to our schedule, the truth is that there are many other types of tasks, such as temporary or even demolition type activities, that are also considered in complex construction projects. Those tasks have objects that could be modeled with their associated geometry and physical attributes as well. So there might be partial models that include just the temporary or construction equipment. Let's append a model called construction equipment, which contains, in our case, only one piece of equipment, a materials lift. In reality, a construction equipment model might contain numerous temporary objects, such as scaffolding, formwork, etc. Here we see the construction equipment model and where it occupies the stairwell. In our class detection so far, we have only checked between permanent model elements, but actually we could also be concerned if any temporary objects conflict with the installation of permanent objects, or even temporary objects conflicting with other temporary objects. Linking to Timeliner in the Clash Detective integrates the features of Clash Detective and Timeliner, allowing the automation of interference checking throughout the life cycle of a Timeliner project. As the Timeliner project simulation progresses forward in time, Clash Detective will check at each interval in the project to see if there are any clashes present. To illustrate, let's do a time-based clash test between the construction equipment model and the architectural and structural models. In order that it work properly, we need to add a task for the materials lift, as well as its own start and end dates. Let's say it goes in at some point after the first floor slab and comes out at the latest date of the project. To define this as a time-based clash, we'll have to choose in the link option, Timeliner. We'll click Start to run the test, and the 124 clashes are found. The Results tab reveals that all the clashes were between the stairs and the material lift. This would be expected, since we should have removed the lift before the stairs went in. That is a necessary precedence relationship, that the start of the stair construction be no earlier than the removal of the material lift. Let's go back to those dates and see how they compare to the start and end dates of the stair and we see that the material lift is being finished too late. Another error is that we should have designated the material lift as a temporary construction activity and not a construction type activity, which means at its end date it will disappear from the model. So in your own exercise, you can go back and modify the start and end dates for the material lift and also change the type from construction to temporary. With those two changes, when you run a new clash test, you should confirm that the clashes disappear as they have been modeled correctly not only in 3D but in the fourth dimension as well, time.